Hey, foul pole. My name's Sawyer Rowland. I'm a right-handed pitcher from Leonard, North Dakota. I attend school at Allen County Community College. Um, I am a third-year freshman due to COVID. Um, my first year and a half of school was spent in a uh, small JUCO in Fergus Falls, Minnesota. Uh, my coach was fired due to COVID. I went to the Northwoods League, posted a highlight reel on Twitter, and was found by the coaches here at Allen County Community College been here for the last two semesters and so far I've loved every second of it. I'd like to give a good shout out to Press Sports. Press Sports is an app where you can post photos and highlights um, and it's used as a recruiting tool for high school athletes and college athletes trying to move on to the four-year level. I know coming from a small town, uh, if I had Press Sports back in high school I think that it would have been very beneficial to my recruiting, but I didn't have that opportunity, you do definitely take advantage of it. I got my highlights posted on there. Go check them out. Username's srollin12. Um, download the app, it's free, it's easy, and uh, get recruited. All right, we're gonna do a little tour of the school right here. I bring my roommate, my best friend, Patrick Babcock. Patrick, introduce yourself. Like you said, my name is Patrick Babcock. Um, I'm left handed pitcher here at Allen, and I'm a second year uh, freshman because of COVID last year, obviously. I'm from uh, Cabot, Arkansas. Five and a half hours away from here. Not quite ten. Anyway, so to start off our tour, we've got the cafeteria here. We just ate our third chicken sandwich of the week, um, and then we're gonna go right over here. We're gonna show you the main student center. Slash, we got the game room right here. Uh, and then student center usually is popping a little bit more before lunch, but uh, we've got two baseball players right here. Uh, all right, here I'm going to show you the library. I actually have never been in the library. I got lost because I didn't know where it was. I'm not going to break the streak of not going in there just for this video, but you can look at it from the outside. Good. All right, right here we got the gymnasium. Uh, in here, obviously, we got the volleyball team and basketball team. Yeah, volleyball, basketball. I'm getting ready for practice right now. Basketball was just messing around in here. They threw up some bricks. Alright, so uh, we're going to walk up to the baseball field now. We've got our own clubhouse as the baseball team. Obviously the baseball field's up here. Softball field's over there. Uh, they're not as lucky they don't get a clubhouse. But we're going to take you into the clubhouse for a second. Now we're going to go into the clubhouse real quick. Usually in the or, uh, in the spring, once it rolls around, we'll get some couches in here and make it a little bit more homey. But right now, you know how JUCOs are. They bring in 60 kids, only 40 get a play. So eventually, they weed themselves out. We've actually had a really good uh, turnout lately. We haven't had anybody quit. And I think that just shows what good uh, team camaraderie we have and everything like that. Everybody's bought into the program. Uh, this is my locker. It's kind of cleaned out right now because I've got it, everything on display. But here's the locker rooms. And uh, I'll just show you everything we get. Um, coming into spring, some stuff we uh, have to return, obviously, like the jerseys. But uh, we get we get um, three practice shirts, come in different colors, black, red, and gray. Then we get a weightlifting tank top. Uh, we get two pairs of shorts, black and gray. In the spring, once it rolls around, we will get a pitching jacket if you are a pitcher. Um, these are VP tops. Every VP tops. Everybody gets one of these on the starting roster, which I believe is it's a 40-man roster in junior college. Um, these are three jerseys we have. Uh, these are our home jerseys. We wear wear white pants with these and gray pants with these. Um, in the spring, we'll get a pair of cleats. These are mine from last year. We don't get the new ones until spring, like I said. But I think we're going to get the same same uh, model as these, except I believe they're going to be red. And we we'll also get a pair of turfs. And um, I don't know, I know we're getting turfs this year. I believe they're gonna be black this year. But then we also have an uh, option of hats. Usually we just pick out three, but um, I believe we might be getting some new ones this year. We wore uh, these and that one last year. But um, that's basically what we've got. Obviously the backpack as well, but that's what we've got for inventory coming into uh, Allen County Community College. All right, uh, Babcock brought one thing to my attention that I forgot to bring up in our first tour of the clubhouse. I'm gonna let him take over. So what he failed to mention was, uh, do you see all these flags? All these flags represent everybody that is here on the Allen baseball team, and which I think is pretty cool to help them feel like they're 
piece of them are here from home. So, and then he had something else that and I then, uh, One more thing I just want to say. Yeah, she got like the cure style, my flag, with Dakota. But, uh, and of course, American flag, most important one. But one thing I just wanted to, I forgot to show you guys the storage room. We got a few extra lockers in here for the overage of players. But uh, we've got a lot of our pitching stuff right here. We're using uh, driveline programs right now, trying to build up some velocities, get some guys in the 90s. Really close right now. I think we've got two or three guys there. But uh, next thing you'll see is the field. All right, now we're going to show you outside uh, our facilities on the outside. We've got the pavilion right here. This is where we throw bullpens, take BP, and everything like that for the game pretty easy to look at. We got a lot of rain in the past three or four days. If you watch the Kansas City Chiefs game, that's the reason it was delayed. We're about an hour and a half away from Kansas City. But as you can see, here's the field. We just got turf last year. Um, I transferred in at spring. And uh, when I got here was like the first week they started ripping everything apart. Didn't get done till May. And uh, so we didn't really get a home season last year. All right, like I was saying, last year we really didn't get much of a home season, but that was due to between COVID and then also uh, the turf. We didn't get it in until probably April 15th, roughly. So we only got about six home games, and they were actually three doubleheaders, so we only got three home games really at home. But uh, here's the dugout. We actually took out a railing just this year, so we have a little bit more of an open space to use. Um, it's really nice. I've never had a turf home field, but it's really nice being able to practice, especially when it just dumped about three inches of rain last night. As you can see the other dugout. And uh, speaking of rain, that storm actually took out our back netting. We actually just got it fixed yesterday, so it looks pretty good. All right, I wasn't here uh, last fall, but Babcock was, so he's going to talk a little bit about what it was like before we got the turf. Okay, so I will... As he mentioned, I was here in the fall of last year, and what it basically looked like was a regular old dirt infield, but there was a whole lot of bumps and bruises that you could get from sliding on it, so it was basically concrete. <laughs> it was very ouch. So you're saying the turf was needed? It was definitely needed, and then the mound, it was... It was <laughs> sounds like the turf was an improvement. It was very much. Alright, now I want to show you the indoor facility. Uh, this is where we practice when, uh, well, when we used to not have a turf infield. But when it gets too cold or anything like that, we will come in here and practice. It's pretty good size. I mean, we've got two basketball courts here. Um, plus a little extra cheer practice is here right now. Um, but we'll probably show up here around January, February before we come back in here unless we get snow in November. Alright, right here is kind of like the first part of our weight room. We've got more stuff for like the agility and everything like that. we got the med balls, we got the bubbles, box shots. we got two squat rack slash bench stations over there, some exercise balls, and obviously you can do sprints over here. Um, now we're going to take it inside the weight room. Right, now we're inside the weight room. Uh, our baseball coach is right over there. He's on the phone, probably recruiting me, you know. Vandy's calling, right? Uh, right behind us we've got, we've got three... <laughs> and then the bikes and stuff over there. Uh, I really came here and I like the weight room when I was showing it. Um, I think it's a staple of our program and uh, people are getting stronger every day and, or vice versa, losing weight and getting faster. Alright, that's all for the facilities. Um, we got practice at 2 so I'll bring you back there, get some uh, insight from some of the other players. I know a few of them wanted to talk to you when I told them about this. Uh, just give them the cameraman's clout. He's uh, one of my good buddies. He's on the cross country track team or something like that. I mean, baseball doesn't really mess with him, but I guess I do. Half <laughs> on three. One, two, three. Staff. Hey, Falco, I'm here with Luke Carter. Uh, he's going to introduce himself and then tell, him, uh, tell us a good story about how he got his nickname. Uh, my name is Luke Carter. Hey, fellow pool, last thing's last. I'm going to show you around where we're living right now. So we live on campus, but they're apartment-style dorms. Living 311. 
Uh, I really like this, they're called the duplexes. All right, so here's the duplexes when you walk in. We've got our couch, chair over there. Uh, my roommate's Canadian. Uh, we got the projector, you know, running the baseball highlights. Got my foul pole sports flag, bean bag chair. Another chair just for get guests. Babcock, getting ready for our chem test that I have to do in about five minutes. Um, here's the kitchen. Got a little back porch back there, but it's nothing worth throwing on. Washer and dryer. Now we'll go back into my room. All right, so back here, we got my uh, summer ball jersey right here. Old high school jersey. Desk, obviously. Dresser. Bed right here. Mirror for when my girlfriend comes over. And a closet. Uh, I got three roommates. There's another single room right there. And my buddy's double room. It's a little messy right now. And we share one bathroom. Um, we got to pick our roommates this year since we're sophomores. And as I was saying, I've enjoyed every second of it so far. <laughs> um, but I'm going to go study for my chem test. But in the meantime, you should run over to Press Sports. Uh, like I said earlier, Press Sports is a video app kind of similar to TikTok where you can post your highlights and pictures. Work on getting yourself recruited. Um, I wish I had it when I was uh, 17 years old, you know. Maybe my story would be a little bit different, but I'm happy with how it turned out. Uh, use it and abuse it and get yourself recruited. Thanks, guys. See you later.